Shelby here with Tom Bully Fishing. We are out on the Chippewa Floyd doing some crappie fishing. Maybe we'll do a little catch and cook, who knows. So yeah, anything else you want to add, Tom? Is that the best intro you got? I mean, Did you get yeah. the what's going on, guys? Yeah, of course I did. All right, we'll do another one. What's going on, guys? Today oh we are out God. here. It is me and Shelby. As she said, we are out here on the Chippewa Floyd up in northern Wisconsin. Today, the objective is to just catch a bunch of cr crappies, hang out, and a nice, relaxing, leisurely day, hopefully, of ice fishing. It's like another gorgeous November day, or <laughs> December day of like 25 degrees. It feels like November because it's just not really even that cold out ever this winter so far. But um, yeah, we're out here, a ton of water all to ourselves today, and uh, we're gonna get to punching some holes, talking about where we're finding fish, what we're catching them on, and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. You wanna drill the holes or is that my job? That's your job. All right, I guess I'm gonna drill the holes. Stay tuned. All right, time to get to drilling some holes. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am a gas auger guy through and through. I might just be old school, uh, but gas is just so simple to use. You get so many holes out of it and you can always bring a ton more gas with you. And it's super easy to carry around. So if you're the kind of guy who drills multiple hundreds of holes a day, um, I'd highly recommend this combination right here. This is the Eskimo F1 rocket and it's actually got a pistol bit adapter so it runs a synthetic bit. So it's just incredibly light. If you're like a 30 year old Jiffy guy and looking for a new auger, highly recommend. Eskimo augers are pretty much all the same. You Prime them like once or twice, turn it on, pull it, and they pretty much start first pull every time. Nice crappie, nice crappie. I'll give you guys a look. We're using Acme Google Eye Tungsten Jig with a plastic. Okay, look at that crappie, nice one. I am happy with that, I'll take that all day. You just put him back. All right, holes are punched. This time to fish, we've been getting asked a million questions about this rod bag right here. This is the 2B Ice rod bag. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But most rod bags turn your stuff into a disaster. These ones do not. They make a long one and a short one for both their long rods and their short rods. And today we're fishing with one of the long rods. This is a 44 inch ultralight Elliott Evolution series. And this is a long hole hopping outside rod. You guys have seen me fishing this a lot super handy for fishing outside some of you guys are probably like wow 44 inches seems like really long once you fish it you will not go back to a short rod all right jig i'm going to be using today one of my absolute all-time favorites right here this is the acme google eye tungsten in gold right there and that thing is an absolute crappie panfish killer everywhere i go i'll go ahead and link it down below but it's got a little knocker in there for the eye tungsten so it falls real fast for some of these basins and then just tipping it with a little plastic and uh, that will pretty much just about work anywhere crappies and panfish live. Ooh, that's what we want to see. Big sack of fish. All right, we're dropping to them. That's exactly what we want to see right there. Kind of when I get close to them here, I'm going to start tailing it down and just kind of slowing it down and popping it a little bit as I go out. And a lot of times like this, you'll get one flying up here it comes hooked up right away fish on doesn't feel too bad where you at buddy oh yeah look at that <laughs> that is what we are after today chippewa fluid crappies not a body of water that's known for big fish but a body of water that's known for tons of numbers and eater size fish just like that right there too cool let's let them go back for more Ooh. A couple of them down there. We're gonna get down to them here as quick as possible. It's kind of fish fading in, in and out up high too. All right, so once I start getting close to these high ones, start walking it down and they're just gonna come flying up, guaranteed. Pound it in place right there. Yeah, and here they come. Here we got a biter. There we go. Oh, oh, fish on. I don't think we got a real big one here. Not just a little guy, but hey, we'll take him. We've only been fishing for a couple of minutes now. 
That little gold Acme Google Eye is just an absolute destroyer of panfish really all winter. It is pretty much my go-to. Everywhere I seem to go, tip it with some kind of long, slender plastic. Good to go. Oh, here we go. I'm flying. Oh, yeah. Hooked off. Fish on. This is what I'm talking about. Fish after fish when you get on these big pods out here. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one there. We'll take them like that. And when they are taking a jig that deep, you know you got the right deal on. I'll go ahead and link this below, like I said, but that thing, I've caught more panfish on it since I've been using it than anything else. We gotta fix our plastic a little bit, but that little gold, little knocker jig, a little knocker in the eyeball. There we go. See you later, buddy. Hooked up. Another one. There you go. Hopefully you can see it and it's in the frame good. All right, so whenever we're doing this kind of basin crappie fishing like this, a lot of holes is incredibly important. And a lot of times we might drill like, let's say 25, 35 holes to start, kind of in an area. And then a lot of times what happens is we end up drilling another section of holes going another way, you know, kind of like, let's say we drill out this big grid and we're finding all the fish over here. Well, a lot of times we go and we drill more holes in that direction and then more holes closer together, right? A lot of times it's that first big set of holes to kind of find fish. And then once you find them to follow them around that basin, um, you know, then you drill a ton more holes kind of in that smaller area, right and that's exactly what we're doing today you know like we caught some fish right away and now what we're doing is kind of expanding our grid and drilling a ton of holes there might be let's say three stacks of 15 fish each that are kind of hovering in an area so having holes very close together where you can just walk around with that flasher and check 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 and then find them in this hole and drop is very important so you're not waiting for that time where those fish are in between two holes that are 10 yards apart Oh, here we go. Got him. Hooked up. Big time up bite on that one. You can see how that fish kind of came in on the top of that stack of fish. There we go. Another decent little crappie right there. Nothing huge, but good eaters if you're keeping them. remember to take my little flasher thing out with transducer out. Oh, look at this crappie. This would be a nice keeper. I am catching so many left and right. So much fun. We are fishing a large basin, deep water holes. It's about 15 to 17 feet in depth. I'm um, just fishing about a foot above the bottom. They, we are marking them like crazy. Big pod, we're going down. I wanna start seeing some vertical movement here. Somewhere right about now. Oh yeah, here we go. A little pull away. Hooked up, look at that, right there. Heck yes. That is the funnest part about crappie fishing right there. Is the visual aspect of watching them on the graph, teasing them up, making them eat. There we go, let them go. All right, we're dropping down. We got fish on the graph. Oh yeah, look at this. We're already getting some movement out of them. Bounce it in place. 
a little pull away here we go oh yeah right there that is what I'm talking about fish on smoking them come here buddy oh yeah there's another nice one right there nothing crazy big just catching one after another though right now let's let him go back for more see you later buddy here we go hooked up nice that one Fish on. that one nice. <laughs> too much fun oh, yeah. nice one nice. Right there too. well i've been fishing outside the whole time and apparently if you come in the shack you just catch a ton of fish one after another there we go another nice crappie right there but you're probably close to 11 inch fish right there but hey when you're catching them this fast ton of fun well you did the intro do the outro talk loud that's all folks what do you say come on Please subscribe okay 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 had a great day crappie fishing out on Chippewa Floage. I mean, I'm assuming we're telling people. Uh, caught a bunch, got, you caught a bunch. <laughs> Decided not to cook anything. Decided to leave them. Um, I don't know, it was a great day. What'd you forget? Oh, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. It helps us as long as we're helping you. No, it goes. <laughs> Please subscribe. Please subscribe to this <laughs> channel. It helps my channel out a lot. And hopefully this channel helps you out a lot. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, thanks for everything. Thanks for all the views this ice fishing season. Hopefully you guys are also getting out there on some first ice and catching some fish. And uh, was it a good day? Yes, it was. Do you love catching crappies? Love it. All right. Thanks for watching. Punch it out, Shelby. We'll see you next time.